I'll go to the boss for orders. Careful, I don't pull nothing. No chance to recover the paper Savini had? Not a chance, Governor. And they got Holland? Sure. If the gas didn't get him, the fire did. The house was injecting like a vulcanizer. You mean erupting like a volcano? Yeah, but anyway, it was burning fierce. What now, Governor? We've still got one more job to do. The fire at the manor is sure to bring an investigation. Let's get rid of our prisoners before that happens. Why not turn him loose and take it on the lamb, Governor? You've got all the dough you can use. You can live like a king. No. I've gone too far to turn back. You can leave any time. I won't stop you. Not me, Governor. Hot or cold, right or wrong, I'm sticking with you and you know it. I believe that, Dinky, and I appreciate it. Gee, boss, if I had a tail, I'd be wagging it plenty. Oh, come on. <clears throat> We've got work to do. You bet. Let's go. Something stirred up the dogs. Have the men search the grounds while I finish here. Governor. whining about your beloved family so much. I've decided to let you see them. You mean you're going to let me go? <laughs> Hardly that. I brought them here instead. No! No! Bring her on. No! No! no. <laughs> There they are, my dear. Spike will find us here. I know he will. Oh, Dad, Dad, Dad. Oh, oh, darling, darling. You all right? Are you all right? This is the first place that Spike Holland will look for us. You forget Holland is dead, Howard. I don't believe it. I'll convince you I speak the truth. Governor, hold the other. Well, what is it's it? It's Holland. The boys caught him trying to crash in. You see, Spike Holland is alive. Shut up. Where is he? <laughs> they carried him in. His arrival has only hastened the end of you all. Depend on that. You keep your eyes on that panel and nothing else. I intend to finish them for all time. Save me the trouble of bringing you here. It played right into my hand. You're bluffing, Bellamy. I'm the last man you did want here. Just what did you expect to gain by coming here? The release of Mr. Howard and his two daughters. Oh, I know you have them, and so do the police. Now you're bluffing. If the police do come, they'll find nothing. They'll all be disposed of by that time. Well, that won't do you any good. Because there's a record in my safe deposit box of everything that has happened. Starting with the railroading to prison of your own brother. Perhaps he's murdered. Not to mention the murder of all those poor devils who have worked for you and received death as a reward. 
There's a record of your robberies and the destruction of Professor Rackaby and his life-giving formulas. It's all there in black and white, Bellamy. So now you do anything you want to do because you and your gang have definitely reached the end of their road. You keep back. I can handle him myself. Sure you can handle him. Why shouldn't you? You're not taking any chances. I'm tied. So, you think I'm afraid? Afraid? You're scared to death, Bellamy. Release him. Don't do it, Governor. He's trying to get your goat. Yours are told. Now, get out and wait for orders. Governor, please, Lord. You heard me. Get out! Does that look like I'm afraid? This gun is fully loaded. I'd welcome any effort you might make to get it. If I wanted to kill you, I could have long ago. I don't specialize in murder. I'm interested in the release of Mr. Howard and his two daughters. Can we make a deal? Your foolish admission that you left a statement for the police makes it important that I destroy all trace of you and the others. The police will find an empty castle. This should interest you. Mr. Howard. Your friend, Mr. Holland, is here. Perhaps you or the ladies have a message for him. Speak up. What is this, Bellamy? Another one of your tricks? Thanks. Thanks a lot. I just wanted Holland to know you were here. Have you a farewell message, Mr. Holland? Sit tight. Help on the way. Where are you? The help you speak up will arrive too late. And throw the switch! Don't do it, Governor! Pick it over! Do as I say! Get out!
under the desk. <laughs> Surround us. But Inspector, what are you doing here? How'd you happen to arrive on time? I sent for him, but why waste time? Let's get able. Hold her, I'll shoot. <laughs> Sorry, Inspector. He was trying to get away, so I followed orders and stopped him. It's better that way. All right, come out of there with your hands up. And no defense, Inspector Ross. Take a minute. Yes, sir. Mike, why didn't you tell us before who you were? I couldn't. I was a fugitive with a 20-year prison sentence hanging over my head. And I was afraid if I made an appearance, Abel would harm my wife. I was a fugitive, too. In fact, Captain Thompson even insisted I was a murderer. <laughs> That's what you thought. Captain Thompson was working hand in hand with me right along, watching out for you all. He what? Was? Yeah, I had a tough time acting as dumb as you thought I was. He was too fast for me, Inspector. He got away a couple times and almost got bumped off for his trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you certainly fooled me, Thompson. I really thought you were dumb. <laughs> Inspector Ross, we brought it up the rest of the gang, and Danny Boy's taking them in. Henderson, is he working for you, too? Yes, and he's one of my best men. And he had his hands full keeping track of all of you. I'll say I didn't knock you. No more battling for me. From now on, I keep to my police work. Nonsense. You were an excellent butler, Henderson. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. There you go. You see, I can't keep away from that butler. Not bad, Henderson. And the name is O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> well, with so many people watching out for us, I guess nothing could have happened. Well, it was. Right. Needed the green archer to put on the finishing touches. For a while, we had an abundance of them. An old shooting arrow. And we had quite a time dodging them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you folks run along. Henderson and I, uh, uh, oh, O'Reilly and I have some work to do. That is, unless you folks want to face a batch of reporters. I oh, say not. No. No. Well, Mike, how does it feel to be home? Marvelous. Well, I, for one, I'm sorry the whole thing's over. Why? Well, I've been looking after you so long, it's almost become a habit. Well, you have to stop now. I always knew I could shoot one of these things. 